So in this video, I'm gonna talk about tape painting. This is an illegal practice that is so common on Wall Street. It's sickening, it's disgusting. I get asked questions about this all the time. That's what this video is. Stick around. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here. Um, going over something that really doesn't matter trading wise, but I get asked this question all the time. So I have to make a video about it and I'm just gonna send people this video when they ask me. Um, Tape painting is when Wall Street insiders, uh, company management, promoters, brokers, hedge fund managers, they put the price at a certain price to close the day, the week, the month, the quarter, um, mainly because they want to create a specific story for naive investors. This is probably why I get asked about this all the time. Um, they're like, you know, the stock was trading at $2 all day, but it closed at 250. Was it really just a big spike at the end? No, that's tape painting. Literally these hedge funds, and this is like an illegal uh, practice slash gray area. I don't think anyone really has been prosecuted for it, but this is like what hedge funds do um, at the end specifically of the quarter because they're getting paid quarterly bonuses. They want their positions to look good. So they literally um, you know, push the price up or down. So like short sellers, might short extra shares in the last few minutes of the quarter just to get the stock down because then the stock is marked at that price. That's what the fund, uh, you know, that they work for or they manage, um, you know, it, it affects the performance. It affects the quarter, especially at the end of the year for year end bonuses. Um, it's sick, but it really doesn't matter that much for us retail traders. It's just an annoyance. Um, no different than late prints. I guess we'll, we'll actually call this uh, what is tape painting and what are late prints. It'll be two things because they're related. Um, you know, sometimes it's not a hedge fund manager. Sometimes it's not a promoter who's, who's you know, buying extra shares to put it at a price uh, that they want or like shorting extra shares to put the price down in their favor. Sometimes it's just a late print. Sometimes it's just a data glitch. So like a stock might be trading at, let's say, 10 cents all day and you know, maybe it's up or down a little bit, but then after hours or like right at, at 4 p.m. Eastern, a trade goes through at 17 cents and it shows the stock is up 70%. And I get endless questions like, you said OTCs don't trade after hours. Why is the stock up 70%? this isn't an exact science, okay? It's not an exact science with rules. It's not an exact science with patterns. And it's certainly not an exact science with data. Whether you're using the stocks to trade platform or any other platform, there can be late prints, like a trade that happened earlier in the day and or earlier in the week, and they just put that price up there. Um, you know, maybe the stock is down from 20 cents to 10 cents on the day and it's down 50%, but then in the last take, it's at 17 cents. So everyone's like, wow, look at that amazing comeback. But it's really just a late uh, notification of when the stock was trading at 17 cents early in the morning and they forgot to post it. Um, I can't tell you how many questions I get about these little last second data glitches or the last second tape painting. People, newbies specifically, think that the whole situation changes based on the closing price or based on what they see happening after hours with like 500 shares. It doesn't matter, okay? No one trade matters. No one uh, price matters. Focus on the price action. Focus on the bid and the ask and the trend. Uh, I, I, I don't know why. I, I mean, I guess I do, right? Like, I think people want to believe that they're special. Like, oh, I'm invested in this stock and it's up 70%. I knew it was going to happen. Or, you know, uh, the trend doesn't apply to me. All it takes is this one good trade. And like, I'm like, just ignore it, you morons. I literally say this to people who keep messaging me over and over again. What does this price mean? You said OTCs don't trade after hours. OTCs don't trade after hours, but a few trades can go through every now and then, or a late print might get posted. Just like OTCs shouldn't trade pre-market, but some trades go through. Don't worry about these anomalies, okay? So many people are so focused on these anomalies, you forget to focus on what actually is predictable, which is the trend, which is like a morning panic or a morning spike based on hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of orders. This is part of the reason why I rarely trade pre-market or after hours too, not OTCs, but with NASDAQs, because the volume isn't that much. 
I don't care about these anomalies. I don't care, excuse me, about like a few trades here or there. Um, I think everyone just likes conspiracy theories. I think they like thinking like, oh, what is this? The hedge fund managers are doing this. Like, you know, when a, when a promoted stock um, finishes low, right? And let's say the stock closed at like 25 cents, but then right at like 4.01 p.m. it closes at 6 cents. And on the chart, like it shows the stock is down like 70, 80%, but it's really just one trade. It's an anomaly. It's a late print. It's a error. Somebody got into, you know, some data provider and everyone's freaking out. Like literally the message boards are like, what does this mean? The stock is down 80% on hundred shares. Who cares? So many people worry about so many little things that you can't control. Instead, start controlling your preparation more. If you want to learn about morning spikes or morning panics, click below. I'm going to link a free guide to penny stocks. Study predictable patterns. Ignore the anomalies. Ignore what hedge fund managers are trying to do with their little bonuses. Ignore what promoters are trying to do to suck in their newbies. Understand that Wall Street is corrupt. But at the same time, the corruption doesn't apply to me and you most of the time. Um, you know, obviously I take advantage of promoters corruption. I take advantage of hedge funds um, when I can, you know, that's just with my trading patterns. But their little games that they play shouldn't really bother you and shouldn't lead you to asking questions for me to answer because I'm frankly just annoyed at how many times I get this stuff. And you, you worry about this ticky tack BS. You can't control it. Just expect the worst out of everybody on Wall Street. If you know a hedge fund manager, expect the worst out of them. If you know a promoter, expect the worst out of them. If you know somebody who's managing a company, expect the worst out of them. That's my happy daily positivity today because that is what this industry is. I can't be fake nice. I can't just ignore that 90% of traders lose. I can't ignore the fact that 99.9% .9 of penny stock companies fail. And I can't ignore the fact that most hedge funders are greedy, unethical bastards. And they will tape paint whether they get caught, whether they don't get caught. I don't care. I don't care. I focus on what is predictable, which is the patterns that I teach. These anomalies, it's just a useless little video like this that I'm going to send to people who ask me. So thank you for asking me. Now click below, ask me better questions after you study.